Hello YouTubers, this is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWoodPen.com. I bought this uh, D-Link router extender. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. I already unboxed it and everything. And um, I'm just this just plugs right into the outlet. And then that's orange right now. And then when that turns uh, or starts blinking, uh, then you can hit the WPS button. Uh, as per the instructions on the thing, I read several times. And I got it wrong the first like three or four times. I'm sort of a little dyslexic when it comes to reading. So just to make it easier, uh, you're supposed to hit the WPS button on the router itself. You'll see now that's starting to blink. Now I have to go to my router, which is a D-Link router. Hit the WPS button. You hit that. Now that's starting to blink. And you go back to the D-Link, the extender, and hit the WPS button on the side. And then there, see now it's starting to talk to one another. It's starting to flash green. And then when that stops flashing green, it turns to a solid green, then you have to unplug it and plug it in someplace else in the room that's desired where you have a, a, a bad connection. And uh, I had already hooked this up. It worked pretty good for me. It's a little bit slow at first when you first link up, like with my cell phone, it doesn't, uh, my iPhone doesn't link up too quick off the bat, but once you get the connection going, it's pretty solid. One of the things I found out about using this was that uh, where I plugged it in, which was next to my my uh, my landline, my uh, cordless phone, uh, it actually knocked my cordless phone out of service. I didn't see anything in the instructions about that, about not where to plug it. I must have overlooked it, or if not, but anyway, just a future note to yourself, whoever is going to hook that up, or if you have something like that. Uh, I had troubleshooted the phone and everything and finally ended up moving this to another location across the room and then uh, as soon as I plugged it in and reset it, went through the whole process, my phone worked worked fine again. So anyway, just a future note uh, for anyone who's gonna, gonna use one of these. And anyway, um, that's about the only thing that I would have to add to make this set up a lot easier. From where uh, my regular router is, my computer is, uh, I'm, I'm probably about 50 feet away around a couple corners from where this is actually plugged in and uh, I got a real dead zone in my living room so just putting this in there I went from a uh, a kind of a fair connection to an excellent connection so if you don't have an extra router to use to try and bridge one together. I tried to do that but it's a little too technical for me so it's made it a lot easier. Anyway we're still blinking now. There we go. So now we're good to go. So I'll put, post that in the second part of the video and uh, let me see. So anyway I hope this helps. Have a good day. On the second video you come up.